To remove either internal hard drive, first remove the side panel and the front panel. Next, detach the connector from the rear of the personal media drive bay by pressing firmly on its side tabs. Remove the two screws that secure the hard drive cage to the PC. Use a long implement to reach through the access holes in the cage and push the cage release latch. Slide the cage up and lift it partially out of the PC. Remove the power and data cables from the back of the drives to fully remove the hard drive cage. Next, detach the four screws, two on each side, that secure the hard drive to the cage. Slide the hard drive out of the drive cage. Slide the drive into the cage until the screw holes on the side of the drive and cage align. Make sure the connectors are at the top of the cage. Replace the four screws. Reattach the power and data connectors to the back of the drive. If installing a new hard drive into a previously empty bay, attach the serial ATA data connector to the motherboard. There are four tabs on the side of the hard drive cage that fit into four slots on the inside of the PC. There are also three tabs on the front of the cage that fit over three slots on the front of the PC. To replace the cage, align the tabs into the slots and slide the cage down until it snaps into place. Reattach the two drive cage screws. Squeeze the tabs of the personal media drive bay connector to secure it to the rear of the cage.